Hi everyone. So this is actually the second take that I've tried of this particular drawing, which is what I'd like to call wobbly Tetris pieces. <laughs> it's a pretty funny one, but we basically draw some different shaped blocks uh, with a wobbly edge. So um, when we were doing this one live, I gave all of the viewers an option. Obviously, everybody can do whatever they want, but I was hoping that some would try it with some straight edges. I would try it with a wobbly edge to see how it turned out. And look, it didn't turn out too bad. Uh, so we just went ahead and chose a thickness to stick to, which is the thickness between the two blocks or the three blocks or whatever blocks you're working um, next to and try to keep it consistent throughout and just really make up some shapes and draw some lines across, draw some lines up and down and all the way around the page. And that's basically the gist of it. The great thing about this drawing is you're just free to do whatever you want. When it comes to the shapes, as long as you can draw a few lines up or down or left to right, you can basically produce this entire drawing just off the top of your head. We didn't have a plan. We just drew. Just freehand it. Go with the flow, draw some unorthodox pieces if you'd like to. As you can see, it turned into some pretty interesting shapes. Um, but yeah, either way, still fun. Uh, so I'm going to let that play and then I'm going to show you what happened next. So we decided that there's going to be a background for this one or a background in the foreground shapes and that is just going to be some wiggly lines going through those particular pieces but creating the illusion that that maze that looks like is around the pieces doesn't actually have those lines going through them so if you could just have a quick look at those two parallel wavy lines you'll see what I mean And I just went ahead and did this a couple of times up the page. Uh, the thickness, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how the thickness of the uh, wiggly lines turned out. It's about a finger space uh, width. And yep, yeah, just wiggle that line across and down the page. I like the orientation of it. I'm glad I didn't do it up and down or side to side. It's just a little bit of contrast from the vertical and horizontal lines that the blocks are made up of. We also decided to just give those stripes or wiggly stripes a block color. So we're just going to do them black and then leave uh, the sides on either side of that black with just white. And then we're going to go ahead and color in that background a, co uh, a different color, which everybody on the live that day chose. So thank you guys for all of your input and your ideas and your suggestions. Uh, and I think that we all came to a pretty, pretty unanimous conclusion that this one turned out pretty cool. check out this color. So this one here is one of my favorite colors from the Sharpie Markers collection. Oh, it's just a delicious minty, light mint, I would say, color. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I'm so glad that everybody chose this one because I think it turned out really, really, really cool. I'm just going to go ahead and let that color through and then I'll pop back in a minute or so. Thank you. 
and there we have it how do you like it that turned out so cool i don't know i was super chuffed with this one <laughs> don't you think that looks awesome uh yeah i do and so did everybody else that drew it uh, like i said there was somebody else who did uh the same thing but with straight lines which also looked very cool uh, there are people who use different colors or did a different design in the background that's also an option but yeah please let me know what you think in the comments below and um hope to see you again soon with some more cool drawing tutorials Oh, and if you do have TikTok, please pop over there and check out the rest of my tutorials. I don't have as many on YouTube as I do on there at the moment, um, but I'm trying my best to catch up. And yeah, they're a lot shorter, but also I do all of my lives there. So if you get a chance and if you see me live, come in and say hi. And I hope to see you there or I hope to see you back here. But either way, I'll see you soon. Okie dokie. Bye.